हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ इजीली यू कैन क्रिएट एन इमेज क्लासिफायर यूजिंग पाइथन फास्ट ए लाइब्रेरी दिस लाइब्रेरी इज बिल्ट ऑन टॉप ऑफ पाइटॉर्च सो परफॉर्मेंस वाइज इट इज वेरी फास्ट ऑल्सो दिस फास्ट ए आई लाइब्रेरी इज अ काइंड ऑफ रेपर around the low level apis of uh, pytorch and their own custom apis so it's a basically high level apis that you can interact with and you know get state of the art results in many domains and basically in image classification object detection image segmentation uh, natural language processing and in case of tabular classification and regression problems so let's get started and dive deep into this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to build an image classifier the first thing we will need is a data set so here is a data set i'm going to use a data set from roboflow you can go to public.roboflow.com and under the section of public data set you can get this fruit data set but it is not necessary to use the same data set you can have your own custom data set as long as it follows the structure which is needed for this tutorial you are good to go so let's get started with the code section in the code section you need first to create a virtual environment and inside that virtual environment install fast ai and pandas and numpy once you install that you can import these packages we are going to need these packages now before we run the following section of the code i will like to show you first the data structure so i have a fruits underscore data set folder inside there is again a folder train folder now this train folder contains different classes so tomato 3 is a class tomato 4 is a class tomato cherry red is a class these two are my previous work i'll delete that so there are basically six classes so each class has a separate folder and inside that it contains the images of that particular folder so we need a kind of data set which is known as image net data set so there is nothing new in that what we need except these classes folder is a labels.csv file which will have two columns name and label so let's build that so this is my data set path let me run this now i will list the data set path and get the classes name so let me run this oh maybe this is why it says now let's see the class names variable you can see we got the class names next i will loop over the classes name then list all the files under the class names and then loop over again the images and create a path which is data set path followed by the class name and image name so basically i am creating the path of this image and every image under these folders and then i'll append the path into image paths list and also we will need label for that corresponding image path so i'll take the variable i which will loop over for the length of the classes so let me run this next thing we will create a data frame out of those two list let's see the head of it 
So you can see we have name column, which is the path of the image and label corresponding to that image. So tomato cherry red is our zero class. And if you can come here, we have tomato cherry red is at zeroth location. Next, let me print the tail of the data frame as well. Okay, so tomato underscore three is label five and we can verify it here. Tomato underscore three is at fifth location. Now I will create a CSV file out of that data frame and we need that CSV file into the data set path. Make sure you name the CSV file as labels.csv file. So I will hit enter and now we can have labels.csv file and we can see that it has two columns name and corresponding label. Now let's move to the next section which is to load the data set. So here we have an image data loader class and which has a method from folder. These are the arguments for this from folder method. We need basically two three arguments one is this path and varied percentage so let me come here we have provided the path and valid percentage there are these three other arguments batch size is 16 this will greatly depend upon the capabilities of your hardware this is item transform so before creating a batch this item transform will run this resize method over each item and then it will create a batch once the batch is created it will perform these uh, kind of transformation first it will normalize and then it will create a random transformation on that image so you can use these three according to your requirement so let me run this now this image data loader has a method called so batch so it will you know print some images and label so we have walnut tomato maroon and like nine images next let's create a model we will use the data loader now this fast ai has a method called vision learner now this vision learner again has too many arguments we are not going to use many of them but there are few that we need first this data loader <coughs> second the architecture we want to use like uh, ResNet 50 or mobile net or any other architecture the next is matrix so which kind of uh, matrix you want to use and there are many more but we are not going to use them so let me come here so we have used DLS that is data loader architecture I am using ResNet 50 for matrix I'm using accuracy and error rate so let me run this <clears throat> now our model is created there is a learner class and learner class has fine-tuned method so basically we have created a learner you can see its variable model and it's uh, belong to the class learner now this learner class has many methods like fit one cycle and fine tune. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use fine tune. It will take epochs and other parameters like freeze epochs. 
so it will freeze the model after one epoch and learning rate other useful arguments you can read more about it here we are going to use this fine tune one so since it start epoch is zero when we do fine tune one it will you know run it for two epochs so let me run this so the training of the model is started i will resume this video once the model training is finished you can see we got almost one accuracy in just one epoch and the reason behind it is uh, we have fairly simple data set but you know this thing is very powerful fast ai learner has many method one of them is so result so our model is again learner object and we will call this so results method on that so it will you know uh, predict on some random samples and it will so this kind of figure where the upper one is the actual target uh, label and the lower one is predicted target label so in case if uh, there is a misclassification you will see this label in red color now let's move to the next section and we will export the model now since we have created the model and provided the data set path which is under fruits data set and train folder when we call the export method on the learner object we don't have to provide the explicit path of the file where we want to save it but this will save the model into the data set path so i have provided the name for the model fruit classifier with the extension dot pkl so when i'll save this it will create a fruit classifier dot pickle file inside the train folder now the next step is to carry the model anywhere you want on a cloud on your own server create a python flask api or python django or python fast api and serve the model so i will use the load learner method and create a new variable called new model now when you use this load learner we need to provide the explicit path of the model while we exported the model we just provided the name of the file so there is a, this small difference now let me run this you can see that it ran successfully now we can use this new model which has a method called predict and we can predict an single item and see the results of that so you can see i have provided a sample image from tomato yellow class and it has classified it as tomato yellow and it also provides the class number and it also provides the probability of all the prediction so you can see that in just fairly few simple steps and i must say easy simple steps we have created an image classifier and it's doing great so i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video after watching this video i assume that you are now capable to you know implement image classification on your custom data set creating this kind of material takes efforts and if you liked my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace